something? Do you want to buy a car? No? Do you want to help mommy sell the car? Come on then, let's do an all around, let's do a nice bit talk. Right, this car, we have a Volvo. It's V40, the logbook says it's red, but in fact it is brown. It looks brown, it is brown, I call it brown. Right, it's a perfectly good car, it's nice and solid. See, you could bash something at the back end, that's like, look, you do it. That's right, bash something at the back end and you will drive away with not even a mark on your car. It is a fantastic car. Uh, five seats, heated seats, beautiful for the winter because they are leather there for you. If you're not heated, you will get a cold arse, I mean. But you do need heated seats, it's great if you're like me, you've got an old back and it hurts every now and then. Back on, it's like a bit of a therapy going on, that's brilliant. If you move to the back of the car, we have three seats and neither one is very uncomfy, but you know, never mind her. Oh, I'll show you the inside. See, all it does comes free with child junk as well. This is what happens when you have a child, it turns into a nursery. The middle chair, as I said, is rather uncomfortable, but hey, watch this. Yeah, you have a pull-down section which stops there. It is technically an armrest, but it stops there for some reason. I think it might be dirty. Silly mummy. <laughs> Silly mummy. So you passengers can actually drive in style. Um, because you've had this car seat in so long now, almost two years, you will notice a slight bit of damage when you remove it on this back chair. It's just an indent and some form of child food, which is actually rubbed into the leather. Easily removed with a bit of scented hand cream. Um, seat belt. Right, work when you don't want them to, don't work when you do want them to, the classic seatbelt thing. It is brilliant. Alloyed, as you can see, standard Volvo ones, they've been jazzed up, that actually uh, that adds an extra five miles an hour to the car with a little hot cap going on. It's had new distance pads all the way around. If we move to the back, we have this really cool sticker. This sticker basically says that I am now a mum, but I still don't want to let go of my car, day. Dare to be different, that's right, drive a Volvo. We have a back wiper now. Uh, originally it didn't work, it came to here and missed all this part that you want to see through uh -huh. and it showed this yes. little part here. Uh -huh. yes. Oh, thank you sweetheart. That's nice of you. Let's just fix the registration plate. We don't okay. get pulled over for that. If you look at this booth, it has this fantastic roller shelf. Please don't look in there, it comes to hold my dad's laundry. Okay. That will be moved before I sell you the car. Back shelf, I have fixed it. Look at that, solid as anything. Okay. And we have these lovely okay. lights. I help Vicky. You're helping Auntie Vicky? Oh, you're a good girl. I help Vicky. I help. Okay, sweetheart. Wanna hold your baby? Free baby. Wanna hold your baby? Good girl. Go show Nanny your baby. Okay. Off she goes. Right, back to the side of this beautiful thing. I fixed these lights so they didn't actually work when I brought the car. Now we have the smallest amount of light in the boot. So when you come back late at night with a trying crowd, trying crowd, a crying child on your hip because she wants to go to bed, you have the minimum amount of light to find the nappy bag and the dirty nappy from in the boot. Saying that, it is a very good spacious boot to change your bum on. So that is good, it has happened a few times. I have fixed these roller things so it now holds it. There's no chance of it slipping back at all explain your dirty washing we do actually have a spare wheel in here i never looked at it and never used it don't even know if it actually exists in there but apparently i was told we do have one let's shut that boot right let's move to the lights this one fully functional brilliant this one temperamental what you have to do is start the engine come round not working running daylight lights go and it comes out it's brilliant it does work like that petrol tanks that size um if you come down here and electric mirrors they are great if you look at the steering wheel it's a classic 2000 model. Ignore my gold trim. That is just an amazing yeah. ad. Two miles an hour, this ad's brilliant. Yeah? Come on then, you come and help me. Come and drive. We have the plastic horn in the middle. The arm rest here told okay. nothing is pointless. Okay. And this model is a fantastic model. This is a model that comes with no, I repeat, no cup holders. So in the 21st century, when you go to McDonald's, do not buy a hot drink, do not buy a cold drink, buy an orange juice with a screw lid, because then you can put it in this pocket just here. Yeah, it's brilliant, which is actually also really good considering the noise now coming into effect that you can't drink while driving. Drink anything done alcoholic while driving. Two hands on the steering wheel. But look, demonstrated by Brooklyn. Drive the car, Baba. See, the steering wheel, fully functional. Got a horn. Press the horn. Press the horn. There, there we go, it does work. Just take it to effect, it does work. Yep, that's a great one. Very nice, sweetheart. Yes. Okay, we have all these fancy gadgets here. You can lock the car. Oh, no, 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 that's child lock. We can child lock the car. That's Don't advise that. We can lock the car. We can use the mirrors. Car. Yeah. The thing is, this lock doesn't actually lock go down. Car. So when you've got a crying child on your hip, remember to press it's the lock button on your key fob. Door. At the same time as pushing shut this down and holding your crying child, push Mommy. it down like this, and then the car will lock when you close it gently like that. Let's just move round to the front. The kind of thing it's all sound. Don't know when the belts are changed, anything like that. Wipers work there, brand new. I made sure of that. 
right then the headlights let's not take a budget the headlights right these funky little wipers don't actually work this one does have glass in because being a novice and not a Volvo fan I didn't know how to get the bulb out so I smashed it and now I can't get the glass out but hey it's got a new bulb that works this one it's fine don't worry about this one that one's fine now this car has got a little bump in there I'm not entirely sure how that happened definitely not my fault um with this little bump in there that does actually mean that this light can be a bit temperamental again if you're going down the motor and you realize that your lights aren't working all you have to do is stop on the hard shoulder jump out your car and go oh you're not working and then it works again get back in your car carry on down the motor and at 70 miles an hour what it don't stop in the fast lane you will get pulled over have done that a few times and the last seven point of this fantastic red car i will say it's red because that's what it's on the left is this sunstrip this car is actually called vexy um, all my cars have a name, this one's called Vexy, the Transit's called Frankie, the MG is called Eze, so yeah, Vexy, say hello Vexy. This Sunstrip actually goes with the back one, it's joined 5 miles an hour extra speed, and when you're driving at the traffic lights and you're there, and you've got the child going wheels on the bus, go round and round, and you pull up next to a really, really fast sports car, you look at them, they're like, oh, she's got a Sunstrip, we're going to totally rise. And then my 1.9 car actually, actually, get this, doesn't, yeah, outright, the souped up sports bike next to me. So, yeah, we do actually hear. But hey. Sam. And the more you wash it, the more dense. Yeah, so this is a really cool car. If you can tell, which you probably can't, it's already dirty. I actually washed it yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Because of the colour, it doesn't stay clean at all. Uh, a few drinks here and there, but that just works your advantage because it means you can park right next to and I know how all the British people like to park right next to the shop so it's like the minimum walking so you can literally jump out of the car and you're in the shop and leave the shop and back in the car and it doesn't really matter if 27 people are next to you and ding your car because you're not going to notice I mean come on, I mean look at this I have no idea how that happens no idea oh one last final point I'd like to point out please do not park close to me when we're shopping Next to me, sure, not close to me. I have kids parked too close and I'll ding your ship because if you notice, my car is a Volvo, is solid. You probably have a tin can that's made out of some Coca Cola recycled box. So, yeah, so I could just open my door and just go, oh, you're too close, I can't get my child in. <laughs> and I can walk away with absolutely nothing noticeable, nothing noticeable because of all the other things, and you'll have a massive dent in the side of your car. So, if you're interested in buying this car, hiring this car, or generally just loving this car, Hit subscribe on our channel, stick your thumbs up, and hopefully we'll see you more for like more videos like this. Bye!